Hi there, everybody, and welcome to this edition of the Sunday Sauce, where we dive into a little bit of scripture um, and just kind of hang out together and things like that. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad you could come. Uh, if you're here uh, for Lisa's Hauls, this is not a haul video, as I always say at the beginning of these. This is a uh, devotional where I read a little bit of scriptures out of the Bible. If that's not your thing, you know, go ahead and, and click off, or if you're have any interest, uh, just go ahead and stick with me here. Uh, yesterday, here it snowed, believe it or not, here in Michigan in the uh, end of April, uh, which is what it is now, getting towards May almost. Uh, usually by now it doesn't snow, but of course none of it stuck. Um, and now as you can see behind me, the window's over this way. I'll turn this a little bit. It's just a beautiful day. The sun is just shining there. You can't even see how it's so bright. Uh, right now with that and it's just warming me up on the side of me where all the sun's just hit me i'm just ever so thankful and love it love it love it so uh that being said uh today we're going to go into uh a topic that i i like a lot that i struggle with a lot of times but i don't as i get older it seems like i don't struggle with it quite as much as when i was younger um but i think that's just natural for a lot of people i believe um should it be? Probably not. But um, it, it, the topic is love. Um, uh, in a famous uh, chapter in the Bible out of 1 Corinthians 13, uh, just one of my favorite portions in the Bible. I, I know I say that every time I read it, but every time I read a scripture, but it, I just love reading the Bible. So um, there's just so many good things in there, so much good wisdom. Uh, and it's just uh, it's reading about the maker of us and and so I'm going to go ahead and start, I'm just going to read the chapter and maybe comment here or there, let it stand for what it is, not sure yet. It comes out of the NIV uh, Bible, uh, 1 Corinthians 13. Uh, so if you see me kind of looking away, I'm just looking over at my computer over here because so I got it up on there. Uh, if I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but do not love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give all over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. So I think it's pretty clear though there that you can do all these other things that are great things, but if you don't have love, you, it, it's nothing. It, it, I mean, it's almost useless. I mean, you can speak in tongues, you can, uh, of men and angels, you know, but you're just a clinging symbol. Uh, you can have a, you can prophecy all you want, you can pray them all the mysteries and knowledge, but if you're the smartest person in the world, but you don't have love, you have nothing, okay? Nothing. Um, you know, if you give away everything to prove that you you love God so much, you give away all your possessions, you live on the street, whatever, you know, Mother Teresa type style thing, but you don't love, you have nothing. You you gain nothing, and that's so important. I, I I've learned that through my life. Believe me, um, love is everything. Um, it sounds so cliche, but um, it's true. It, it's so true. Um, and for some people, that may be hard because uh, when we bring up that topic of love, a lot of people just think relationships like husband, wife, or, or whatever. Um, but love is, is how you love other people, um, is what they're talking about right here. How do you love your neighbor? How do you love that person that you're waiting in line at McDonald's and they're sitting there taking their sweet but time just you know oh, I think I got 49 cents here Sonny and they sit there and there's one and five make six and they're going there forever you know just you're like okay I gotta get back to work you know uh, here take a dollar you know just let them push the button and all the change will come out magically but you know that's not love uh, we have to love those around us you know if you're if you're in traffic and you know, somebody's just being a jerk you know there's construction big thing around Michigan right now all the construction has started on the roads now that the the, the weight restrictions stuff start coming off and 
There's the people that, uh, you know, three miles back, five miles back, that said the left lane closing, yet they stay in the left lane and try and pass by everybody that's lined up in the right lane the way they're supposed to be. Why? But we should love. So, um, and going on to verse 4 in 1 Corinthians 13, it says, Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Now there's a mouthful. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy. Wow, that's hard to do, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you gotta be patient. You gotta be kind, it doesn't envy, it doesn't boast. It's not proud. Those are all human qualities that are so difficult, <clears throat> you know. So let's go on to verse 8 here. It says, love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, we prophesy in part, but when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. But when I became a man, I put away the childhood behind me. For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part. Then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain. Faith, hope, love, even as I am. But the greatest of these is love. So, I go to that part where it says here, when I was a child, I talked like a child, thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. Boy, there's people that uh, in their lives have done that for more than and longer than what they should have. I, I was like that in my life uh, growing up. Uh, I thought more like a child, I reasoned like a child, and all that for a, a big part of my life, in my adult life. Um, you can't do that. I mean, uh, I mean, you can, obviously, I've done it, but it, it sets you back. It sets you back uh, in so many different ways, depending on which ones you, you fall into. Um, you know, I uh, fell into that with, you know, financially. You know, I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing. Yeah. Um, and there was times when, uh, you know, I did that as, uh, you know, just with my relationships, you know, I did that as a child, so I just, uh, you know, think about that. Think about how you're, how you're in your life and how you're putting those away um, and become a man or a woman uh, in the way you should be going. So, and now faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. So all those things are very important, but the greatest of those is love. So just remember that, everybody. Go out and love someone today. Give them a hug. Give them a phone call. Uh... Be kind to a, a total stranger, okay? And, uh, you know, just have a great day, okay? Love you guys.